no choice. They, they, they were gonna take us apart unless we came after you. I had a real hard on for you. Fucking face! Come to daddy! Don't let it come close! I'm gonna kill you like a baby seal! Stay back! It pulled me into the open! Take Get this it off stage! Your head. I'm gonna take you apart, pussy! Oh. There it is! Oh, Swifty! Oh. I see you, you! Jesus Christ, Jackie! They knew everything about us! They, they could have ripped us to pieces! They, they, there's something not right about them. That thick, crazy look in their eyes, you know? Like, like some kind of whacked out monks. <laughs> I got the bread on them! Oh. Is somebody there? Play for the soul of Jackie! Get him! It's a foul! Get down! Shoot it! Shoot it! Better start talking. I think I think they're like some kind of secret club or something, you know? They gave they gave me an envelope with a whole load of cash in it. Their boss, their, their leader, whatever. I, I I met him in a brothel, the the Brimstone Club. All right? Look, I'm telling you, th these guys are some kind of. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Jackie, you miserable fucking friend! What the fuck did you do? I needed him. I needed answers. Was nothing. Once the darkness gets a hold of you, you start to lose control. You start to wonder what the fuck you're doing. Time slips away from you. And then, all of a sudden, it's like you're sitting in a theater, watching a movie of your own life. And you're up there on the big screen, big as life. You're a fucking movie star, and you're killing all the bad guys, tearing them limb from limb. And you feel good, you look good. Fuck, you are good. And then you realize something. Everyone else in the theater, they're screaming. Because they're watching a horror movie. And you're not the hero. You're the monster. Eddie and Frank are checking out the Brimstone right now. And the new guys found your buddy, Johnny Powell. Yeah, he didn't take to your invitation so good. We put him in the back room so he could shit his pants for a while. Follow me. Can't wait to see him again. Ask me, this guy's a couple clowns short of a circus, Jackie. He wasn't living by the Queensboro Bridge, he was living under it, in a cardboard box. Alright, come on. 
He's back here. Hey, Chief has the wife and kids. Hmm. Well, he's in a good mood. There you go. Knock yourself out. So let's say you live in a big house and you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and they own a lawnmower. Johnny Pal, you look like shit. You were supposed to be the expert. I paid you good money to help me figure things out, and you repaid me by skipping out in the middle of the night? For what? Jackie, I did what I could to help you control the darkness. But being around you was becoming a problem for me. The darkness is so fucking seductive. I could hear it whispering to me whenever I was around you. It was starting to change me. Are you gonna kill me? Is that what this is all about? I let it out, Johnny. Now I don't know if I can control it. Let the darkness back out? Jesus Christ, Jackie, that thing is like a slow suicide. Then help me get it back under control. You don't control the darkness, Jackie. You cower in fucking fear of it, and you pray it goes away. The longer the darkness is active, the more it'll try to confuse you. <laughs> it'll try to trap you, make you see stuff that, that, that other people can't see. I need your help. So you're back on the payroll until I say you can go. Bunch of assholes just came after my entire operation. And whoever gave them this envelope is connected to the darkness somehow. I need you to figure out who they are and what they know about it. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll do what I can. It's, it'll go a lot faster if you get one of your gorillas to untie me. Please? It lives in Viscera, and you are the focus. It wants chaos. Life gives you lemons. You can make lemonade. Don't make no difference if it's kiwi fruit. It's better than sleeping under a piece of wet cardboard, so don't fuck it up! Gotta get organized. Look at all these damn books they got. You can untie him now, Chief. But keep an eye on him for me, would you? Hmm. Wow, oh, that guy really let himself go. I used to think he was pretty smart. Now he looks like something the cat threw up. Hey, hey, Frank and Eddie are back from the club. They're waiting for you with Jimmy in your office. All right, thanks, Vin. Don't you listen to that voice in your head, Jackie. You fear the darkness like it was the devil himself. Everything it says is a lie. Ah, this is no Yo, good. Jack! No good at all. Hey, Jack, you see Jimmy yet? I'm here if you need me, Jack. How you holding up, Jackie? Jackie, you're gonna wanna hear this. That Swifty prick was right. The assholes who hit us are hiding out at the Brimstone. What did you geniuses find out? It was Eddie worded. I was otherwise engaged at the time. He was busy snorting coke off a hooker's ass. Never could multitask. Well, these two chuckleheads are getting their dick spit polished. One of the whores starts running their mouth about the new owners. I had this girl, Camille. She says the place got bought up last month. The new guys took over the top floor. Yeah, but that ain't the best part. Camille says she's seen some weird guy with a limp go in and out of the place. Says he looks like Nosferatu on crack. Who the fuck is Nosferatu? Your grandmother. No idea if this wank job and his crew are still there. But it might be worth checking out. All right, enough talking. I'm headed down there. Whatever you say, Jackie. I think Vinny has a friend who works there. Might want to ask him about her. Hey, Jackie, you fuck up that pool all good or what? What's going on? 
How are you holding up, Jackie? Hey, Jack. So, uh, Jimmy told me about the Brimstone Club. Sounds like a real dumpster. You, uh, got a hookup over there? Well, uh, you mean uh, me? Well, I, I mean, I'd never go to a cesspool like that, but I, I got a friend who goes there sometimes, who, you know, when it's late at night, when other places are closed. I know a girl there named Venus. Sure, she can help you out. She's a real handful. Two of them, actually. The new owners are real pissy about the door. They don't let nobody bring a gun in. That's fine, though, because you probably want to learn as much as you can before you, you know, do your thing and scare the living shit out of them. Damn right. Okay, then. You ready to get some fucking answers? Take me to this shithole, Vinny. I thought you'd never ask. Let's go. Jackie! Jackie, wait! What? What's the matter? Uh, 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 this envelope... Uh, uh, where did you say you got it again? Off some dead guy that was paid to kill me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Something wrong, Johnny? Uh, nothing. Um, uh, couldn't be them. Because that'd be really bad. Hey, um, I, 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 I gotta do some more research. Uh, good luck in your killing spree! Me and the boys will take him to the zoo while you're gone. Retards like the zoo. Let's go, Vinny. Atta boy, Jackie. What do you say we go tweak some nipples and see what happens, huh? <laughs> I remember this one time, when it was summer, hot as balls. Jenny and me were on the stoop, with a couple of cones there, trying to cool off. And here comes this fucking kid. You know the type. Asshole all the way. He shoves me over, and takes a seat between the two of us. Jenny, takes one look at him, dumped her cone right in his lap. <laughs> That's when he pushed her. So I did what I had to do. I curbed the little fuck. Figured a few months eating through a straw with teaching how to talk to a lady. Jenny? Didn't talk to me for a week. <laughs>